Hi, welcome to another of my videos. Uh, this one's going to be fairly short. Um, literally, this one is about um, changing your Home Assistant automations to use UTC to avoid any potential issues when the clock change for daylight savings. Um, I'm based in Plymouth in the UK. Um, so last weekend, our clocks went forward one hour. So we changed from daylight savings, uh, sorry, from GMT time to British summer time. So the clocks went forward an hour. Um, that um, had potential to impact on all my automations in, in Home Assistant. And in particular, it was going to end up costing me some money potentially because the economy seven times, which um, I use for charging my batteries overnight when the, the weather's not great, um, we're actually going to stay on GMT rather than move into summertime. So I'd have had to change uh, all of my automations to make sure that I was still charging within that cheap seven hour window. Um, as you can see on the screen, I did, um, I found this article from Octopus, who are my energy supplier. And it says that um, during British summertime, the, um, the, the seven hour cheap rate actually moves from uh, half midnight to half seven to half one to half eight because um, I didn't quite trust um, what I found on their website. I did write them an email and they confirmed that this was going to be the case. So um, I thought the best way to deal with this and to avoid any problems when the clocks go back again in October uh, would be to uh, just set all of my automations to use UTC rather than um, daylight savings time or GMT or, or whatever. Now that actually in itself sounds fairly straightforward the reality is it's actually a little bit fiddly. Um, it took me a little while to, to get it up and running. So hopefully this video will save you some of the, the pain that I had in doing that. So if we have a quick look at some of my automations, if we literally just take um, the one that I, I'd use at the, um, the, the start, if you like, which is if the solar forecast is poor, then I'd start my battery charging. Um, during the cheap window. So previously, um, my trigger would have been a time trigger. Um, I could just actually quickly um, add one in if you like. You can have a time trigger and you can say at a fixed time at time. So previously I would have had it at 0 0.35, 0, 0. So when the time's equal to 25 to one in the morning, I'd have started my charging. Um, with the clocks going forward an hour, that no longer would have um, actually started at the cheap rate. That would have started me charging um, an hour before the cheap rate, which would have been pretty unhelpful. So I was quite keen for that not to happen. So doing a little bit of research and to find out how the um, the ultimate or how I can use automations on UTC, um, you can do it with a template. So literally rather than triggering on a time you can trigger with a, a value template and literally it's if the state of sensor.time underscore utc is equal to 0035 then that is then my trigger um, what you can do um, and what i did a lot of is in developer tools if you go to template you can test out some of these um, template strings and check that they give you um, the true or false statement that you're looking for. So that very basic one that we've got there is if the state of sensor time UTC is that, um, that would um, you know resolve into a true state. So we could say is state there, what's it now? 12.48, if I change that to 12.49, hopefully we'll catch it in time. When that oh did we miss it let's go for 12.50 then and what we should do is we should see um, one of these quickly flash to true oh actually if I, I need to be an hour back don't I so sense time UTC will be an hour behind my summer time uh, obviously, in developer tools as well, you can um, you can filter on the states if you wanted to check what the the state of your sensor is. 
uh, I could literally do UTC. There we go. So that's the current time uh, in UTC. Sense.time UTC is there. So let's just go back to our template. When that clicks over to 12.50 or 11.50 UTC, we should see that my um, template output should change to true or not. That's disappointing. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. It's happened now. Lovely. So that's all we're looking for is when that um, that template condition is true, then the, the trigger will be um, triggered. So uh, in the instance of me, you know, um, my automation of when to start charging the battery, 25 to 1 in the morning, UTC, um, confirm that the solar forecast isn't great, so below 18 kilowatts for me, confirm that my battery is already below 70%, and then I'll call my script, which um, kicks my inverter to start charging from the grid rather than charging from PV. So on from that, um, let's leave that. Um, I do have some other automations where the time is between two values. So we could say, um, let's uh, pick this one. So where my condition was previously based on time, um, I now have this template where the time is between two values. So now we just need these two lines within the um, within the template condition and that is um, <clears throat> when the the value of time is between these two values so for me it's between five past five in the morning and seven twenty eight in the morning so literally that's just given me a couple of minutes either side of my economy seven window to make sure that you know if the tariff doesn't switch exactly on time then i'm not going to be billed for using some uh, peak time electricity when when I don't need to be. Now the only other automation which I will show you, um, which did trip me up, is I have an automation for um, my peak and cheap rate for the utility meter. So I have um, a utility meter that runs in my energy dashboard that switches between peak and off-peak rate. So I know. Um, how much power I'm using during the economy seven window and how much power I'm pulling um, outside of that window. And there's an automation which triggers whether it's peak or, or off peak. So that is uh, here somewhere. There we go, peak, re peak cheap rate selector for the utility meter. Now what's... Um, <laughs> what tripped me up here so previously i used to just have time triggers here like we saw in the other automation so i needed to check these so that it's when the time is midnight 30 or 07 30 but actually what's hidden uh in here that you don't see is that there are variables tied to those triggers which you only see if you do the full yaml edit so um when the um, the state of sense time UTC is midnight 30, we pick the off peak um, tariff variable, and then at 7:30 we check uh, we check the um, the peak tariff variable. So if you've already got your dual rate utility meter set up, then this will already be um, within the variables um, for your for your switching so just make sure that you uh, you take a look at the um, the yaml output before you delete your your time change uh, or your time trigger and then um, replace it with the uh, with the template trigger so now that's that's done um, i can say yeah it's all it's all been working um, as expected uh, if we have a quick look at my overview um, battery storage so we might see um, there we go so I have a um, uh, an automation which at five o'clock UTC or six o'clock um, summertime as you can see here 
will start to charge the battery if it's below 70%. So we can see that happening there. So at um, six o'clock this morning, summertime, five o'clock UTC, uh, we can see that I started to, to pull power from the grid to, to charge the battery. Uh, if we have a look at the battery current, we'll probably see that. There we go, look, it will suddenly ramp up at six in the morning, which is five o'clock UTC. So hopefully um, that's been of, of some help. Sorry, it's a couple of days late um, after the clocks have actually changed, but I wanted to make sure that everything was, was working as it should before uh, letting this loose on the internet. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to, to post any comments below. And thanks for watching.